Welcome to Zoological World today we are discuss about Eastern Glass Lizard wondering why this legless lizard didn't just go ahead and turn into a snake is beyond the scope of this article. But Ophisaurus ventralis is very much a lizard. It blinks, it has ears, and it can only open its mouth so wide to swallow a meal. Most of its body is made up of a tail, which is fortunate because the lizard has evolved to shed its tail to evade capture. Found only in the American South, sleek and pretty in colors of green, brown, tan, and white. It even makes a good pet for some people. Read on to learn more about the Eastern Glass Lizard. Incredible Eastern Glass Lizard Facts Before 1954, all glass lizards were considered to be O. ventralis. It's the only species in Ophisaurus that has green among its other colors. Once in a while you'll find an individual with vestigial hind legs. The eastern glass lizard is the longest and heaviest glass lizard in its range. The glass lizard doesn't slither like a snake but needs to use its sides to push off of objects to get moving. This can be difficult if the reptile is stranded on a highway. Scientific name This glass lizard's scientific name is Ophisaurus ventralis. The genus name comes from the Greek words Ophio, which means snake, and Soros, which means lizard. Ventralis is Latin and means of the belly. This describes how the animal moves. There are only one species and no subspecies. Appearance The eastern glass lizard is unusual because it is a legless lizard that many people might mistake for a snake. But if you look closely, you will see two tiny ear holes and you may see the lizard blink. Ear openings and eyelids are identification markers that separate even a legless lizard from a snake that lacks ears and doesn't blink. The shape of the reptile's head is another way to differentiate it from a snake, for the glass lizard has a somewhat longer head and a more pointed snout than most snakes have. It also can't unhinge its jaw to gulp down large prey. The eastern glass lizard grows to between 18 and 43 inches in length, and most of that length is made up of the tail, which can be twice as long as the body. In the case of both legless lizards and snakes, the tail begins when the spine no longer has rib bones. The body of this species of glass lizard also has a groove on each side, and the scales at the top and bottom of the body are the same size. The lizard has smooth and somewhat glossy scales that come in colors of brown, green, tan, and white with dark modeling. The belly is white and unmarked. Some specimens have a tan stripe on the back that's about six scales wide and may continue to the end of the tail. Adults in this species have white bars or marks on the sides of the neck and head and do not have stripes below the lateral groove. This also distinguishes them from other kinds of glass lizards. Population scientists don't know the exact population of this lizard, but it is widespread in locations where it is found, and, according to IUCN, its conservation status is least concern.